Welcome back to RuralVacantLand.com. This is Luke Smith, and I've got a property that's in Tucumcari, New Mexico. This is Quay County, New Mexico. It's 160 acres. That's a quarter section. A section is like uh, one mile by one mile in land description. So a quarter of that is quarter mile by a quarter mile square. Let's look at this property. This is a big piece of land um, compared to most of what I'm trading on the website. But... Uh, you know, lots of properties are bigger. This one, I believe it's got a stream that goes right through the corner of the property. You can kind of see it here. This is kind of the layout. But uh, we're going to get into that. I think the main question on this property, why it hasn't sold, is the location. People trying to find it. So I've updated with uh, updated the ad with GPS coordinates of the, what I believe the four corners are. we got GPS coordinates to what I believe the center of the property is. I'm going to pull that up. Before we get into that, I wanted to uh, point out a comment I got on a previous video from yesterday. And uh, Marie Angel was saying, Luke, I like how you're connecting some of the dots for people with showing the house plans available. Though I miss zooming into street level on Google Maps. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'd like to zoom in on Google Maps too. So there's, there's no street level that you can really see the property of this one. But we can see the area. And so this area is the town is Tucumcari. Um and then there's 40 here and 54 here and here's uh canadian river runs through here and there's this um, oot lake is one of the dams on the canadian river this river runs through like oklahoma city to arkansas river to the mississippi river to the gulf of mexico i mean it goes and goes and goes so it's running from west to east and this river is like a tributary to it that's running from south to north going up and connecting with the Canadian River and the property is on the side of that so I thought it'd be kind of fun to follow where this river goes um, if you see it here here's here you go the road crosses it I think we can get some street view there yeah so here's Here's some countryside. This is kind of the banks of the river. Here's the or the stream. It's more of a stream, I guess. Stream river. Um, you know, this kind of countryside is near the property, so the river is coming from back here by the property towards this road. Let's zoom out some more. This got turned. Okay, there we go. That makes more sense. So we're down here. The property is down here um, on the west side of this stream and where this this canal runs. If we go to the map, you can see that the, the canal is marked out on the map. This blue running along here and the squiggly blue is following the topography instead of straight roads like, like most of the farming in the area is. This canal comes out of the lakes and rivers in the area and flows by a bunch of the farmlands and into a pond and as it goes from there it also drains down the hill um, drains down the hill into this stream that is on the property I think this stream as you zoom in on this stream um, try to think of where it is yeah here's it here's maybe a cattle feeder or something here I think this piece here is is in the in the property like the property cuts this this off and so you get the stream and it looks like the stream's got water in it and it looks like it's flowing downhill to the river that's over here on the other side of the property so the property doesn't touch this river but it gets close and um, there's a bunch of roads that run along the side of this river um, that if you follow them out they go down to the south to the 40. As you I think you can take these little roads following the west side of the river. You could probably get off the freeway here. Let's see if there's an exit. Yeah. So if I was going to go to the property, I'd probably you know, get off the freeway here. Let's see if this works. The camera guy drive through here at night. <laughs> it's not working. Um, I 
Well, so much for my street view idea. I thought I could show you the exit. So I'd get off this exit here and take the little roads along next to the freeway over here. Let's see if the street view works. Still doesn't work. But, uh, you know, I'd take that over. Man, street view is not working for me today. So I'd take that over to, you know, as far as I could. And as you get close to the river, one of these little roads turns off. Might be a gate there. There's that cattle guard. It looks like a cattle guard. Might be a gate on that one and that one. Might just be to keep the cattle in. I'm not exactly sure. But I'd try to, I'd try some of these two tracks. See if you can get on that one or one of them. And um, try these trails. Follow these trails up the river to the property. So the property is right over here where the river gets real squiggly squag. Um, it's just to the west of that and to the stream. So it's a big chunk of land right in here. And how do we figure out where those four corners are? Well, the easiest way is just take the GPS coordinates I got on the website and plug those in. But uh, to find those GPS coordinates, um, I use this website, earthpoint.us. So whether you're looking for this property or other properties, this is a good website to use, earthpoint.us. And it's got a search by description. So we're gonna use the search by description. In state, we're in New Mexico. So we're gonna go to New Mexico. And Principal Meridian, Mer New Mexico just has the one, New Mexico one, Township. Um, if we go back and we look at the ad, my legal description is in here. It's the southwest quarter of Section 20, Township 12 North, Range 33 East. So we want Township 12 North, Range 33 East. Township, I'm already forgetting what I said. Township 12 North. Township 12 North, Range 33 East, right? Let's make sure that said 33 33 East and section 20, section 20, and let's, uh, let's pull it up in Google Earth. Google Earth comes up and you fly into it. It's got this grid pattern. Okay, so if we go back and look at the legal description, it says the southeast quarter. So let me pull up Google Earth. So this is a full section. This purple is one mile by one mile. Um, this orange is the township range. So this, this is the section out of there. And we want the southeast quarter. This there's each one of these is a 40 so we want four of these to make a quarter because there's you know one two three four quarters and this is the south this is the south and this is the east so this is the southeast quarter and so you see that map or that river we were talking about the stream does this this kind of pimple turn where the hill comes down. If we go back to Google, we zoom in on that stream, where'd the stream go? Here it is. Here's the hill, here's that pimple turn. Here's the uh, cattle trough. Here's the pimple, I think the cattle trough is right over here. So I think that's one corner. The other corner is over here. Looks like there's a bit of a wash. Just before the wash does a turn off here. If you go over, here's the wash. Just before the wash does a turn off there. Right? So I think it's up over here. And then 
other corner would be down here. Bump, small bump, light spot in a bush. Bump, no, bump, small bump, light spot, bush. Like the other corner would be right over here. See, there's a trail right in the middle of the property. Looks like someone drove on. It's a long time ago. It's not very well traveled, but. And then let's look at uh, this one. I don't know how to explain that. Where the gray meets the orangish tan, the bottom of that one. Where the gray meets the orangish tan, tan at the bottom of that one. It's so like right in here. And that would be your property from here to here over to there down to there so this is this is like the square of property right here and so that's how you find it that's how the corners are you're not that far from a trail here right next to the river I believe the state land to the south and I believe there's a rancher to the north cattle rancher to the north and private property to the west and it's topography laden over here too so I don't think you're going to be able to drive through these these hills but there's roads right there you could get pretty close to those roads but probably not down to the property they don't seem to go down that hill anywhere I think your best bet would be following the river up and uh, some of these trails to get into the property. So on Bing Maps, here's the river. You can see the, the major bends in it, the water in the river. Looks like a water hole over here for cattle kind of hole. Um, I think the property goes up here to here down to here I think this water hole is going to be just the other side of the the property line and then over to here and back up to this area this is the property and when we zoom in I mean you get some different colored hills and caverns some bush looks like some flat spots looks like a two track through the middle of the property there on this one too looks like a cattle feeder um, and the stream coming from the canals over here if you zoom in on the canal it looks like the canals got water in it the ponds aren't as well defined. Well, yeah, there's the pond. It doesn't seem to be flowing water solid though. I'm not sure if that's shadow or water. It might be water, but then it dries up before it gets to the property in this picture. So I think it's probably seasonal. Sometimes it's on, sometimes it's off. Whenever this picture was taken, it looks like it was off. So you might want to tank it up or store it or build a pond um, and store that water. And I found a house that looks like it would fit on there. I mean, here's some house plans on houseplans.com. This is like 845 bucks. You get a southwestern style house. This one's got three bedrooms, two and a half bath, one floor, three car garage, 2,600 2, square foot, um, master bedroom, bath, closet stuff den dining room great room nook this seems to be lots of smaller rooms i kind of like some bigger rooms that flow together but uh you know there's lots of houses you could pick to build on property like this look at the dimension of this thing 65 foot by 83 foot <laughs> you, know, you could fit a ton of these houses on 160 acres um but yeah you can order the plans to go build a house online you can buy the property online. Here's some other southwestern style looking homes, 845 bucks. 
945 $400 there you go that's a smaller one 748 square foot living living guest is it two stories or something I don't know but uh, there's lots of homes you could build you just pick pick one for your budget your demands how many bedrooms and stuff do you want and go for it take the property mix it with a house that you like and make, go make it happen this is Luke Smith ruralvacantland.com hopefully you've learned something about finding property by legal description today and hopefully this property is the right one for you and feel free to go take a tour of it let me know if this, this is the one you want I'm asking $29,999 basically $30,000 for this property um, I don't have normal online checkup checkout set for this one you click the buy it now on this one and well it does say 29 I'm gonna change it so it's uh, you pay like $500 to hold it for you and then you can wire the rest of the money or send a check or cashier's check or something I'll do all the paperwork to put it into your name and I totally understand if you want to take it through a title company um, we could do that too I just ask that you pay the fees for the title company um, so I know it's clean title ready to go you just gotta um, I'll just deed it over just put it in your name taxes last year forty dollars I mean really cheap taxes for 160 acres and feel free to ask questions let me know if I can help Luke Smith realvacantland.com thank you